I'm Nate, and I'm an entomologist at Terramera. The proof bedbug and dust mite killer is a plant-based spray. It has a non-toxic mode of action, and how it works is it kills bugs on contact, but it also penetrates deep into cracks and crevices where bugs and eggs like to hide. Before you start spraying, you want to make sure that you clean up any loose items on or around the bed in the bedroom. Divide those into two categories, launderable items and non-launderable items, and you want to seal all of those items into different bags. Shake the bottle, then spray all the infected areas. And you want to focus on the piping, the seams, and any labels that might be on the mattress. Uh, because that's where bed bugs like to hide and that's where they'll lay eggs as well. Another good place to spray for bugs because of the cracks that are there are around window sills. So um, if you have window sills near or around the bed or in the bedroom, it's often a good idea to spray those cracks and crevices around the window sills. See, the vertical and the horizontal cracks are a good place to, to spray. Now that you've sprayed all the items in your room, give it four or more hours to work to kill all the bugs and eggs that the spray has been applied to. After you've let the spray work for about four hours or more, air out the room. And you want to do this to try to dissipate the smell that's created from the, from the spray itself. So opening windows is a really good idea and you can let airflow evaporate the smell out of your room. Um, opening doors is another good way to do this. So once you get airflow through, it should help evaporate a lot of that product out and the smell should uh, decrease with time. And the last step is to uh, wipe down any hard surfaces that you sprayed. Um, this is to remove a lot of the excess spray and it'll help mitigate the odor. So you just wipe down any area that may have had spray applied to it um, and this just helps remove some of the excess. 